Uh, so the first question. All right. Henry, what what uh, give us an idea what life is like, man? Champ life, walking around the uh, last month. What's what's it been like? For oh you? man, I can I don't I never want to lose again. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's been good, especially thus far here in Russia. You know, the, the people respect fighting wrestling so much, and uh, they. I mean, I was staying at the at the high, and it's a five star resort, and they even upped it. I think it might be like a six star. I'm staying at the lot, and uh, it's just crazy, man. I'm being pampered. And I have my own driver. Uh, these people, they know they're fighting, and it's just, it's amazing, man. The, the amount of support that I get for both being a being a being a wrestler and being a fighter, and I, I feel appreciated here in Russia. Have you had a time to really step back and reflect on what you accomplished? I mean, I know you kind of knew that night, but now that you've had a little time to sit back, I mean, A, beating Demetrius Johnson, B, you know, adding that to your Olympic credentials and what that means, I mean, uh -huh. it, 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 have you had a chance to really consider it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it just, it, it's, it cements me in, in legacy and in the, in, in the history books right away. Like, there's no, uh, like, the, people will forever remember Henry Cejudo, you know, and that was... That was the initial statement by not just uh, by beating Demetrius Johnson. It was it wasn't just beating the pound, the pound for pound great, but it was it was cementing my legacy for forever in history in the history books. Uh, pri uh, you know, put MMA aside in sports. You know, a, a two sport world champion is you, you you won't see that in a while. And I'm just happy that I'm the first one. All right, so we're hearing a lot of talk about what's next. I mean, we, that we, everybody wants to know. A lot, lot, of, lot of the TJ Dillashaw name being thrown out there. Give us, give us the update. Break, break some news. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I believe he wants to fight me from what he's, uh, you know, has, has said, uh, from what he has said to the media. Uh, I want to fight him. The UFC wants to fight. Now it's just time to negotiate and to, uh, to see what weight class we're going to do it at. Like I, I gave them the option, either 25 or 35. It doesn't, it doesn't matter for me. I want to super fight. I'll, I'll, at 25, I'll knock him out. So if he wants to come down, you're gonna get knocked out at 125 pounds. 35, 35. I'm taking a little risk, but 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 I but I, but I, I still believe I could beat him. You know, 25. He's gonna he's gonna be depleted, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna take advantage of that. One can make the argument that uh, DJ deserves an immediate rematch on account of what, what he's accomplished in the UFC. What do you think? I mean, who do you think is most deserving to face him? Man, but this is uh, absolutely does does Demetrius Johnson there's the rematch. I, uh, uh, when it comes to what he's done, absolutely. But I, I know Demetrius is also hurt. He's still recovering from his injuries. If I don't fight TJ, I want DJ next. But the the reason why I want to fight TJ was just because it's a super fight. Because I'm saying I'll go up or you come down, but we can fight. It's not about a, a year of, of talking, a year and a half of talking that such and such is going to happen. I'm saying let's let's score down now. I. I I felt like they had overlooked me with Demetrius Johnson uh, uh, in my fight against Demetrius, and they're always trying to get the super fight with TJ and, and DJ. And I'm just like, you know what? I won. Give me the fight. I, f I feel like it's deserving. Demetrius Johnson can heal up, and, and, and I'll fight him next. If you, if you know, if he did come down to 25 and you beat him, <clears throat> would you expect him to let you fight him at 35 then at that point? Because I mean. The idea of being a champ champ, right, the, the two-division champion, that's uh -huh. got to be appealing. Oh, for sure, absolutely. Like I said, I'm, I, I, preferably, I prefer to go up. I want to go up. That, that's mine. I think that's even the UFC's plan. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I have to respect what, 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 what TJ has done. And obviously everybody wants to fight him, including me, and he wants to fight me. I just, it, to me, it really doesn't matter. It just doesn't. I just want to fight this guy. I, I, can, I can beat him at 25 or 35. When do you want to see it happen? Do you have a, you have a timeline yet that makes sense for you? Yeah, sometime in December. Sometime maybe the end of the year if possible or uh, Canada or January, February. Um, I, I think sometime towards towards, towards like those those dates. Not the big rumor fight coming up. That, oh, rumor has it that uh, your belt was lost. Uh, <laughs> It is, man. Flying first class priority. It was, uh, it was, you know, my luggage is lost at this point, but luckily the UFC they took me shopping, shop, uh, and they took me on a shopping spree and I bought up all kinds of clothes, but unfortunately my belt is in my luggage, so now on top of my gold medal, now is my belt. I don't know what it is about gold. I can't just, I, I can't keep it, you know, but, uh, but we're going to find it. They're, they're, they're looking for the bags now. <laughs> so you got to feel a little bit cursed, right? I mean, come on. Um, not really, actually. Kind of, you know, it, it lets me know that material comes and goes. It's, it's the memories, it's the legacy that that comes with being a champion. And I'll always get. I'm gonna get a gold medal back. I'm gonna get a belt back. But it's, it's, it's the memories that come with that. That, you know, that 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 makes it special. Here, I want to ask you one thing outside of your career. Habib Nurmagomedov. 
got a huge fight coming up with Conor McGregor. I wonder, I mean, the wrestling credentials that you have, the knowledge that you have, when you watch him fight, what is it that makes him special? What is it about Habib that has led him to be so effective? I think, it's, I think I don't even think it's something physical. I think it's something internal that drives the physical. I think his, his determination, his background, where he's from. If you guys go where, where he's from, these guys are... It's, it's it's literally survival, and he brings that into the cage. Like he brings him, his country, and his culture into the cage. I think that's what makes him dangerous. And I think the biggest deal, if he can if, if he can get bypass Conor McGregor's distance and range, he's gonna it's gonna be a five round uh, you know punishing uh, punishing fight. It's gonna be a grind for for Conor. How would you coach him? What what, what advice if you were giving Habib one piece of advice on how to win this fight? What would it be? I tell him composure, composure. I I, I would I would stay calm. I would uh, I, I would find the right timing just like Connor would, and uh, you know to eventually get to his legs or you know put him on his back, put him against the cage, and, and grind him out. But it, it, it's a tough fight for him. People people uh, people are are in, uh, underestimating Connor too. Connor McGregor's a, he's a master at range, and uh, if you, if you can get past that range, you're good. But if you can't, you know, good night, buenas noches. A lot of people feel that. <coughs> The flyweight division has really opened up now, now that you're dethroned Mighty Mouse. Uh, who are some of the up-and-coming flyweights that you got your eye on as potential future challenges? Oh man, well you have, uh, yeah, I have a, you know, fight Dimitri's again, uh, do, do a rematch with Joseph Benavides is also on my mind. Uh, I know that, that Brazilian, uh, Figueroa, I know he's on there, he's, he's been killing people. I think those, to me, those, those, are, those are the three guys that I'm kind of, I got my eyes on. But the first one in line, if I, if I fight at 25, is going to be Demetrius Johnson, and the rest can go from there. I'm not dodging Demetrius Johnson by any means. I want a super fight. I want, I want to make money, guys. I want to, I want to challenge myself, and, 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 I, and I want it to be lucrative. I, I, I deserve it, man. I've, you know, a two-sport world champ, 10 years in the making, and uh, I think that has a lot of juice, too. Maybe I haven't defended him about 11 or 12 times. But God, man, what I've done is nobody has done. Give me some credit a little bit. Let, 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 let me take this fight with no problems. Last question for Henry. Henry, what's your prediction on Conor versus Khabib? What's my what? Prediction. My prediction with Conor McGregor versus uh, versus Khabib is, um, you know, I'm rooting. I like them both, man. So it's kind of hard for me to, because the problem is when you when you're a fighter, you tell somebody who's gonna win. It, it uh, you almost become like not their friends no more. But I can tell you the person that's going to win that fight is the person that isolates the game plan. Khabib is going to have to close the range. Conor McGregor is going to have to find his range and, and use his hands to knock him out early. Thanks, Henry. Thanks. Hey! And then